glyphosate-resistant pigweed is becoming a serious problem for soybean and cotton farmers. This is Palmer pigweed. Left untreated, it can overtake and devastate a soybean or cotton field. Until recently, Roundup, or glyphosate, would control the large, quickly spreading weed, but it has developed a resistance to the chemical. Arkansas Farm Bureau Soybean Division Chairman Rusty Smith says growers will have to return to conventional methods used before the Roundup technology was introduced to deal with the weed next year. I believe there are going to be blanket uh, overlapping applications of, of pre-emerged herbicides. Uh, if this gets away and, and spreads even more, um, we're in, we in for a tough harvest. If, if we harvest at all, they will take over a field. The weed has a stalk as thick as a baseball bat at its base. Smith says producers may have to revert to old-fashioned methods of field preparation. There may be even more conventional tillage next year. I hate to go back to a, to a plow, but uh, these pigweeds can't get through the plow, you know, if you hit them early. Pigweed has a rapid growth rate of more than an inch per day. A single plant produces more than 250,000 seeds, and it can top eight feet in height. While birds or rats could transport the seeds across the field, combines are the most likely culprits. The biggest problem that I've seen, and, and I've picked up in a couple of my fields, is that if there's a resistant pigweed under the canopy that you can't see, the combine will get it and spread it, and uh, you'll have a 100-yard pass of uh, 15, 20 feet wide of uh, of new pigweed for next year. Pigweed was reported in 750,000 acres of cotton and soybeans this year, resulting in some yield reduction. Smith says the issue will be a major topic of discussion during the soybean conference at Arkansas Farm Bureau's annual convention in Little Rock, December 3rd.